continue to read in Exodus chapter 18 in the King James Version. There's so much here. When Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all that God had done for Moses and for Israel, his people, and that the Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt, then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took Zipporah, Moses' wife, after he had sent her back, and her two sons, of which the name of the one was Gershom, for he said, I have been an alien in a strange land, and the name of the other was Eliezer, or Eliezer, the for the God of my father had or for the God of my father said he was mine help and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. And Jethro, Moses' father in law, came with the sons and his wife unto Moses into the wilderness, where he encamped at the Mount of God. And he said unto Moses, I, thy father in law Jethro, am come unto thee, and thy wife, and her two sons with her. And Moses went out to meet his father in law, and did obeisance, and kissed him. And they asked each other, Uh, of their welfare and they came into the tent and Moses told his father-in-law that the Lord had done unto Pharaoh and to the Egyptians for Israel's sake in all the travail that had come upon them by the way and how the Lord delivered them and Jethro rejoiced for all the goodness which the Lord had done to Israel whom he had delivered out of the hand of the Egyptians and Jethro said blessed be the Lord who hath delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of Pharaoh who hath delivered the people from under the hand of the Egyptians now I know Know that the Lord is greater than all gods, for in the thing wherein they dealt proudly, he was above them. And Jethro, Moses' father in law, took a burnt offering and sacrifices for God. And, and, and Aaron came and all the elders of Israel to eat bread with, the, with Moses' father in law before God. And it came to pass on the morning that and it came to pass on the morrow that Moses sat to judge the people, and the people stood by Moses from the morning unto the evening. And when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing that thou doest to the, to the people? Why sittest thou thyself alone, and all the people stand by thee from morning unto evening? Even. And Moses said unto his father-in-law, Because the people come unto me to inquire of God, when they have a matter, they come unto me, and I judge between one and another, and I do make them know the statutes of God and his laws. And Moses' father-in-law said unto him, The thing that thou doest is not good. Thou wilt surely weary away, both thou and this people that is with thee, for this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Hearken now unto my voice. I will give thee counsel, and God shall be with thee. Be thou for the people to God word, that thou mayest bring the causes unto God. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws, and shalt shew them the way wherein they must walk, and the work that they must do. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of tens, and let them judge the people at all seasons, and it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee but every small matter they shall judge so shall it be easier for thyself and they shall bear the burden with thee if thou shalt do this thing and and god command thee so then thou shalt be able to endure and all this people shall also go to their place in peace so moses hearkened to the voice of his father-in-law and did all that he had said And Moses chose able men out of all Israel and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And they judged the people at all seasons, the hard cases they brought unto Moses, but every small matter they judged themselves. And Moses let his father-in-law depart, and he went his way into his own land. Amen. Wow, that's amazing. So... 
here's Jethro being guided by the Lord saying, hey, let's go visit Moses. <laughs> and so he does so. And there is a lot that happens in this chapter. But listen to this in verse 22 of uh, chapter 18. And let them judge the people at all seasons. And it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee, but every small matter they shall judge. So shall it be easier for thyself, and they shall bear the burden with thee. If thou shalt do this thing, and God command thee so, then shalt, then thou shalt be able to endure, and all his people shall also go to their place in peace. Exactly. So not only did the Lord bring Jethro to Moses, but there was a reason. And Jethro had this idea for Moses after he saw everything that was going on, how Moses was leading the people, but he was the only judge at the time. And there are here's hundreds of thousands of people that have left Egypt that are coming to him with their their concerns when it comes to affairs of of what's going on. And so Jethro was like, you know what, you should have people that believe and have faith in the Lord help you determine these things. So that way, you're not overwhelmed that you're not the only person. And so what we find out in Chronicles is that Moses does he uh, uh understands and the Lord says, yeah, this is the correct uh, thing that to do. And so that's what he, Moses does. As we see, Moses takes this information, this wisdom from the Lord through Jethro and implements it. So that way he's not overwhelmed bringing past to present. There's a lot here to take from it. Think about this in our lives, how sometimes we do need help. <laughs> I know, I know. Sometimes, uh, even myself, I'm like, I can handle a lot. I feel like I can handle a lot. I can do a lot of things. But sometimes we need help. And sometimes we don't even know we need help. Sometimes we don't know that we need help. But that help is okay. Not only is it okay, but it's beyond what we thought it would be. It actually is spectacular. It's wondrous. Think about those things in life, especially in your day, every day, in your daily situations and things that you come across, whether it be peers or friends or strangers or your own children that want to assist you with something. Go to God and converse with the Lord and be and have peace about it. And if the peace is, yes, allow for the assistance. Yes, allow for the help. Amen and hallelujah. The Lord speaks in many different ways. And he also does things when we least expect it or we don't expect it, when we don't even know what's supposed to happen. Think about that. Before we go on, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?